Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to talk about how can we create database and tables using the MySQL. The first thing is to run the WAM server. Just double click and select yes. Also, you can use XAMPP server as we have talked previously. As you see here, you will see the icon of the WAM server. That means the web server is running correctly. Now, let's run the browser. Right, local host. Just local host. Local host is the local web server. Then, select PHP, my admin. Okay, he will ask you about username and password. By default, the username is root and the password is empty. This is the default for the MySQL. Click go. Now, how can we create a database using the MySQL? Click on databases. Let's suppose that the database name is company. So I will write company, then click on create. But before click create, if your database will contain some languages like Arabic language, for example, you should change the collation to this type, UTF-8 general CI. This is the encoding supported for the Arabic language and other languages, okay? Here, I don't care, I will click create. Okay, as you see here, there is a database called company. So how can we create a tables inside this database? Okay, click on the database. Now here, what's the table name at first? Let's suppose that the table name is EMP, stand for employee. And this table has three columns, Okay, go. Now, what's the column's name and what are the data type of those columns? Let's suppose the first column ID, the second column name, and the third column is salary. And I need the ID to be integer, the name to be varkar, which means string, and the salary, okay, no problem, salary, I will put it as integer. For the varkar, you should also enter how many characters for name. For example, let's suppose 30. That means the length or the maximum number of characters allowed for the employee name will be 30 characters. Now, click on Save. Yes, as you see here, you will get now EMB table inside the company database. How can we enter some data inside this table just click on the emp then click here on insert now for example 1001 the employee name for example is hussein the salary of this employee for example let's suppose 3000 and go if you need another one the same thing, insert 1002, Omar, and suppose that 2500, and go. Now, if we click on EMP, yes, as you see here, you will get two employees with ID, name, and salary. So in this video, we have seen how can we create database and tables and how enter some data to this table using the MySQL. See you next video.